everyone, welcome along to Cage Legacy 13. This is Noel O'Keefe and Phil Campbell calling the action. Opening up the card this evening, we have some IMAF cadet bouts between Josh McKinnon out of FAI, taking on Joe Hutchison out of Premier oh. Martial Arts Academy. He might have a slight problem there with the toe. He grimaced as he stepped back, attacking the legs is Joe Hutchinson. Hutchinson not wasting time and trying um. it. Worked that body on good shots, and of course, Phil, real set here, no yeah. head strikes. So no head strikes, that's what you see. Might see the hands a little bit lower. Both guys going with the leg kicks and the shots to the body. Hutchinson firing off that rear leg kick. Definitely trouble with that, that foot, as you pointed out, Phil. You can see him just stepping uncomfortably. I'm not sure if we potentially have a broken toe or something, but so, and that's just it's instinct done. Yeah. from uh, Miss Skimming to throw that shot. And you can see that he's used to throwing the hands because his hands are very, very high. Obviously, his last fight being a novice fight up at Cage Conflict 4, he was able to throw strikes to the head, and that's what I think is causing him a little bit of an issue. He's used to having those hands high to protect the head. But the skimming right in on a double leg here. This, that's, will, this will aid that injured foot that, if he can get it to the mat. That's exactly what he needed to do, but right now he's taking the back. He's very high, going to get shrugged off. Ground and point to the body is legal here, not to the head. First fight of the evening, we all have a little, ready, little bit of Taylor Swift shaking it off. Hutchinson follows right down. Just in that half guard position, and as we allude to many times, so we like to call yeah. this the anchor position. You can really control your opponent, use your hips heavy here and posture up to land the shots. And it's the type of position you can really solidify with big shots to the body being landed. Ms. Kimmon is as tough as they come. We saw that in the opening stances of the first round. And aesthetically, you wouldn't think both these young men are 17 years old. 17 years of age, I was still playing with G.I. Joe on the floor field, so both young men competing, as we say, in an IMAF cadet bout here. Obviously, three two-minute rounds goes in a little bit quicker. An exclamation point being left on the round by Hutchinson. Big opening first round from the young man from Premier MMA, MAA, but again, you can just see as Ms. Gimmon getting yeah. back to his feet. He hasn't done so yet. He's just feeling on the foot, and potentially we could have a doctor stoppage in between rounds there here. There you go. Our referee has waved it off, Decky Larkin. You can see that Josh Ms. Gim we Ms. saw Gimmon that very just, early, yeah. didn't we? You, well, you pointed out straight away, Phil. You can see he went weak on that foot, so referee stoppage in between rounds, rightly so. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Nicky Larkin, has called a stop to the action as the fighter was unable to continue. Your winner, 